Hello again. Still looking at trigonometric functions. This is the first tan function we've looked at, but we're going to see the considerations are really the same. Uh, we just introduced this idea of the unit circle and cast to remind us where the different things, sine, cos, and tan will be positive. So remember this, if you don't, go back to the other video, watch it again. It's a good reference. And we also looked at, we end up solving one of the angles from our calculator, but if there's a second value, we're going to get it from one of these three cases. Yeah, I recommend checking the last video if this, you haven't seen this before. So. We'll come back to this in a second. Let's start solving this. Because what we have is tan of 2x minus 3 equals minus 2 and tan of 2x again. Great. Well, as always, we want to get all of the x's to one side, all the numbers to the other side. So what do we want to do first? Well, in this case, we can add 3 to both sides. In fact, if I want, I can just write, write it right here, plus 3, plus 3. That will cancel. And I'm going to have tan 2x equals a minus 2 tan 2x plus 3. But I want to get this minus tan 2x to the other side. So I'm going to subtract minus 10, 2, or I'm going to add, sorry, 2 tan 2x to both sides. Remember, always the opposite, so that wouldn't have made sense to subtract. What I'm doing is adding 2 tan 2x to both sides. So same thing here, 2 tan of 2x being added to both sides. We can think there's a plus here if you want. Great. Those will cancel. And 2 tan 2x plus tan 2x, you can think that's the same as like 2y plus y. Plus well, 3y, or in our case, 3 tan of 2x, which is equal to 3. Great! We still have to get tan 2x, or x ultimately on its own. That's our big goal, remember? We want to solve for x, get 2x, or x on its own. Divide both sides by 3. And now we have tan of 2x is equal to 1. Or we take the tan to the minus 1 of both sides. And I'm going to have to actually give myself more room. And what we're going to get, these two cancel, so we're left with 2x, and tan to the minus 1 of 1, we punch it into our calculator, we should get 45 degrees. Again, in this case, we're considering a range. I left all, most of these things from the previous question and cleaned it up a little bit, but we're still considering between 0 and 360 degrees. So this is part of our one answer. We still have to solve for x, of course, so we divide both sides by 2. And we will get x equals 22.5 degrees. That is our first answer. x equals that. Remember, we still want to solve the other answer as well. And things are getting a little trickier this time, but we're still using the same basic reasoning. We are in this first quadrant, and we want to think, well, tan was ultimately equal to 1. We were got tan equals 1. Great, so tan's positive. So we need it either in one of these two quadrants right here. Well, what we're actually considering is not the 22.5, but the 45, because we had tan 2x equals 1. Well, the, that whole thing is going to be true when 2x equals 45. So we're actually considering the 45 in this type of problem. We solve for x, but we, when we want to solve the other x, we have to think, well, the other one will be related to 45 when we do this reasoning right here. Great. So 45 is in this quadrant right here. In this quadrant right here, where else is tan positive? Here. So we look at our three cases. If we start from the bottom, 360 minus 45, it's going to put us in this quadrant. 180 minus 45, it's going to put us in this quadrant. 45 plus 180 will put us in the right quadrant we want. So sure enough, we should check 180. I'm going to switch colors a second. 180 plus 45 or 225. And what we should find is tan of 225 is equal to 1. Punch in our calculator, we should get that answer. But in this case, remember, that's our actual 2x. So 
2x, you wouldn't think it's our second angle if we want. 2x2 equals 22, 5. And thus, x2 is this divided by 2, or 112.5 degrees. So, again, it might seem a little messy. The whole thing is, we're still doing the same kind of thing we did with the previous problem, where we figure out where other quadrant it is, but we were actually considering the entire 2x that we solved here. We said, because we're interested in what tan is equal to. We then later have to realize, well, it was actually of 2x, but tan of 2x equal to 45. So that's what we consider, that 45. We're going to see another example in a little bit where this kind of idea happens again. So find the initial angle. That's the one you're going to use when doing this quadrant analysis and figuring out which of these three formulas to use. Then you plug that in and solve for the other x2. So we actually have two valid solutions. Either one should solve our initial equation. So we just finished looking at this problem. Tan 2x minus 3 equals minus 2 tan 2x. But we actually didn't solve it all the way through. Uh, we didn't get to the final solution. There's still a couple steps we missed, actually. So, so far in this problem, we had simplified it down and got it as tan 2x equals 1 and solved for our first two values of x. x equals 22.5 and 112.5. Both viable answers. But they're not potentially the only answers. The big trick here is that we have a number in front of the x. Number in front of the x. We're looking for all the values between 0 and 360 that satisfy this equation. Well, this 2 affects our period. Remember, normally for a tan, sine, cos, they all have a period of 2 pi, or 360. Since we're working in degrees, we should write it as degrees. So normally the period is 360 degrees. But this 2 influences it. Remember, we talked about it before that this 2, often written as k, affects the period. What we do is take 360 and divide by this number. So in this case, our period is actually being reduced to 180 degrees. So this function is repeating itself faster than we would normally expect. So we're actually going to get more than just two solutions. Because basically we can think it repeats itself. Every 180 degrees, the same exact values are going to occur. So, if we had one of our solutions, we can call it x1 and x2, two of our viable solutions occurred, well, they're going to reoccur 180 degrees later. So we can think some third solution, x3, would be equal to 22.5 degrees plus 180 degrees. It's going to repeat itself 180 degrees later. So at, what do we got, 202.5 degrees, we should get the same exact value. In fact, we plug this into the formula up here, or the simplified one, we should see it satisfies it. Could also keep going. Thing is, if I add 180 to this, so if I consider the, an x4, 202 plus 180, that's going to be outside the range. It would be a solution. 382.5 would solve this equation, but it's outside the range we're looking, so we are done with this solution. We could also look at the other one x4, well, if 112.5 is the solution, 180 degrees later, we're going to have another. As long as it falls in the range we're interested in, we're okay. Which in this case, it sure does. Because we get 292.5 degrees. Again, we plug this in, it should solve our, our equation. 180 degrees later, we'd get another solution, but it would fall outside 360. So in this case, we actually have four viable solutions. The two we saw before, and these two new ones. So we very, we have to be very careful with this range. We want to find all the x's in this range, and normally most sine, cosine, tan functions have a period of 360. Always look for what's in front of the x. If the and if what's in front of the x is not a one, our period is changing. In this case, it's a number greater than one, so the period's getting smaller. We could also have a fraction. If this was say one half the period would actually become 360 divided by a half, or 720. So it would stretch our function out. We'd probably get less solutions than we expect. In this case, because it's constricting our graph, if it's making it occur more often, we're getting more solutions than we normally expect in that range. 
So be very careful. Look at what's in front of the X, figure out the new period. I mean, you still find your initial solutions the same way, but then you have to consider, are there more? Keep adding until you get out of the range. So this should now be it.